Part two of the trophy hunt event rewards just dropped and they are pretty lackluster. So when this event dropped, we originally had this whole bottom row of items here all marked off till uh, April 26th. And that is today, at least the time that I'm recording this. Uh, we have a double XP token, which I don't think too many people care about what level they are, uh, especially after your level 55, you're already going to have everything unlocked. At least everything you can unlock by leveling besides like the, the max rank season rewards. They also added in a Woody so you can get a Woody from playing COD, which, you know, props them for the name, but it's just wood paneling on the normal SUV. And then there's the Viper's pistol emblem. It looks decent, but it's... I don't really care about emblems. And then there's a betrayed loading screen, which is basically like the whole season's theme. Uh, a battle pass tier skip, which is all right. And then they added in the Night Sting battle rifle, which is basically the same exact thing as the Venom Strike battle rifle. I think it might be the same pattern and everything. Yeah, it's literally the, the same exact thing. And they just kind of tossed it onto a TAC V. I mean, it's decent, but like, come on. And now you can finally get the second mastery for this, which is the Kong skin. So what we're going to do is go through and try to grind out as many trophies as we can and get all the rewards in this bottom tier here. And let me do the math really quick on how many tokens you're going to need. Here we the two, and it looks like it's going to be 255. Unless I completely did that math wrong, which uh, is pretty likely. So I just need to get the very low number of 192 trophies to be able to get the rest of this since I'm already sitting at 63. So what we're going to do is try out some different modes. And to start us off, we're going to be hopping in DMZ and trying to get the tokens that way so i haven't played a whole lot of dmz since launch i think the mode's like pretty cool but there isn't a whole lot to get out of it uh, i think it's unique what they did with it you know in trying something different outside of just like you know make multiplayer worse somehow and then do like xyz to Warzone. but i think this is a fun little mode that they have in here but i just wish there was more to get out of it like if they added camos to dmz i'd definitely be in here more but the only time i really hop in dmz is to get things like outside of the mode like i'll hop in here for like weapon xp or for what we're doing right now is trying to get some trophies oh shit sit down because in dmz from what you guys told me in our last trophy hunting video you just get tokens from uh the ai and you can get 12 tokens a game and you don't even have to finish the game i mean you can just die and it ends or you can exfil but i've mainly just been taking myself out so i tried this out a little bit last night and it seemed to work pretty well and from everything that i've seen it, it looks like this is like the one of the better methods for it but i can try some other modes too we'll, we'll see what works here the only problem i've seen with this strategy is you're not guaranteed to get a token every time you kill an enemy it seems to just happen like kind of randomly but it's pretty efficient uh just as long as you spawn kind of close to enemies well i guess especially if you spawn close to enemies because you can just go ahead hop in and grab those real quick Ooh, these AI don't mess around though. Uh, sometimes I just be like walking around, not really paying too much attention, and they are just all over me. They do tons of damage. Oh, fuck off. Eat a nade. Did that take out the tripwire though? Nope. There we go. I'll take that nade with me. I think a car just pulled up of like actual people. I think they're waiting at the entrance for me. Can't we all just get along? And there wasn't even that many enemies in here. I don't think we got a single token. But that's a person so i'm just gonna leave that's another thing a player can just come up and kill you and you lose all your tokens like just by picking them up you don't get them you get them from going to a certain spot and like x filling them like you can just x fill your tokens and not yourself you just upload them and there has been a time or two where i've hopped in here and i've gotten killed before i even got my tokens uploaded but most of the time i don't have an issue we got a few little bots right here bam bam that one just take himself out? He almost did. They dropped a few tokens. We just need to find more. Oh, here we go. Ooh, two tokens right there. And another. Oh, and they're bringing in the heli. Why don't y'all fuck off? You ever thought about that? Actually, this is perfect. Bring all the reinforcements you want. But if they just keep dropping troops on me, that's a quick little coin farm. Give me those. And I think we're good to go. We just need to go exfil them. And we're, we're pretty close to one. So try not to get killed. And for what I've seen, you see I have a revive pistol as my field upgrade. Even if I take myself out, like I just like sit on a nade and die. I seem to like always respawn back with one. I don't know what's going on with that. But we just uploaded our tokens. We're going to cook this nade. You can take me out, bot, if you want. Ooh eat that but now we just wait to bleed out or get shot either one works getting shot probably helps more <laughs> but regardless if we x or not we get these tokens because they're secured so after i don't know about like seven minutes we got a quick 12 tokens when normal multiplayer games last 12 minutes and you're not always guaranteed to get them all you're also not guaranteed to get them all in dmz but 
It's a lot easier. And I know for sure that you get some from ranked because I've been playing a little ranked. You get at least like three per, but I'm not going to go through and play a whole ranked game right now. So let's go ahead and try out gunfight and see how many tokens we can get from that. Our yeah, first game is on exhibit, the museum version of gunfight. And honestly, it looks really good. And I haven't played on a whole lot of gunfight maps, but I have played on this one before and it's really nice. Ooh, you're not supposed to be sniping me like that. Okay, go ahead, Ben. Go off. Don't let me get talking Tom on you. Oh, you're done. Zero gooses cooked. We did a total of zero damage that game. <laughs> but we could be yup and do one damage. But getting no kills will get us no tokens. So we uh gotta step it up a little bit. Ooh, that's a hit marker. That's a kill. Give me those tokens. Oh, you get three per kill on here. Okay. So what's the max amount you can get? I didn't look. Probably six, right? Yeah, it's only six. That's disappointing, but at least these go by kind of quickly. So you could get six tokens faster than you would in just a normal multiplayer 6v6. Ooh, put him on skates. He had no idea where I was. I didn't get any trophies from either of those kills though, which is weird. Damn. Oh, damn, dude. I don't even care if we lose. Actually losing probably be way faster. I just need to get three more tokens and then I'm fine. Oh. What? Why are there no tokens from that guy? Do I have to kill us? Oh, it's because I've killed probably the same guy. I need to kill the other dude for the other three. That makes a little more sense. So good thing we won that. I just need to kill the other dude. No tokens from him. Oh, I got him, but I can't get to the tokens because the round end. So I'm already not really liking this mode too much for it because it seems like even if you get the kill that you need, you're not even going to be able to go over to your tokens. Oh, zero goose. You poor soul. I didn't do a whole lot of help in this round, but it was just not going to happen. And I'm pretty sure you can get tokens from AI in Invasion and Ground War, but those games last forever. So I don't even think they're worth it to hop in there. But they did just add Plunder, so I'll try that out. So I haven't played Warzone at all during this event, but I did say the same thing that it said in DMZ with uh, the 12 trophies secured, like zero out of 12 and zero out of 12 trophies like uploaded or whatever. And it looks like there is the stations to upload them. But I think the thing with Plunder, I might have to play through the whole game, which kind of sucks. But it is a new mode. I mean, new to this game. Plunder was in the last Warzone and now it's being fed to us like new content, but we'll, we'll see how it works here. And also the, this starting music for Warzone sounds like Home Depot. And I'm pretty sure there is AI in this still. So we will be able to get like weapons and things or coins and things from ai but it's probably better just get them from players we just got to make sure that we upload them when we get them i don't want to be dropping all my my tokens my trophies whatever the fuck there we go give me those let's keep a move on oh there's a token inside there i know you can get them from chess oh shit armor 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 come on I just scooby doo the fuck out of that guy. He has no idea where I went. It looks like we're gonna have to find a new coin uplink station. Or at least, like, reposition. Is that a person? No, that was a bot. It takes so many bullets to kill a bot. Ooh. Why are you still peeking me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Go back into your little hole. Sorry, Max V2. I need a V3 after that. We have eight trophies that I want to make sure that we get out of here. There we go. Four more. Ooh, there we go. Perfect. Beautiful. A few extra trophies. And we have 12 out of 12. So now uh, I have to wait the 25 minutes for this game to end. Okay. Not the best mode for this. I wonder if I leave if I still get them. Like, is there a way to be eliminated from plunder? It's just infinite respawns, right? Ah, uh, what did it say when I when I secured them? If it's secure, that means it's just fine, right? Well, let me kill this last guy if he's still even in here. And then we'll just try to leave. Okay. There you go, Dean. Now, let me see if we keep them um, if we quit. Do we have 12 more than we had before? I honestly don't know. Okay, we're at 90. I'm going to go through and try that again because I should probably keep track of how many I'm at before I try these things. All right, it took a little bit, but we finally have all 12 tokens. Now I'm going to leave. It did say trophy secured and didn't say anything about finishing the match. Please say that we still get our tokens from that. 
Oh, you do. Cool. So you can just leave a game of plunder once you get it. But I personally think DMZ is probably better. So now while I work my way up to getting the rest of these tokens, I'm going to be playing DMZ. And you can play on a Sika Island, but I feel like you'll run into more players that way. And a lot of them aren't too friendly. So uh, Almazra has got your best bet if you're trying to stay like away from everyone. We're getting pretty lucky with these DMZ spawns. They've just put us right back here at the oil refinery. Now we just need these guys to actually drop some coins for us. And I'm kind of burning through all like my reserve weapons for DMZ. I only have like a few like contraband weapons or whatever they're called. And I've been debating just hopping in here with nothing but like a throwing knife and just use the throwing knife to get a weapon from one of the bots and just use whatever they have. I've only been in this game for like a few minutes. I even AFK'd for the first few because I was just kind of dicking around. And we already have all of our tokens, or almost all. We need one more. There's a car driving through. Is this like actual people or DMZ people? I oh, know it's DMZ people. You know what? You don't need. <laughs> There's our last token. Okay. And we're already right by it. This is the most beautiful spawn there is. Spawn right next to all the enemies and you just upload all your tokens and then just dip out. Actually, can we leave? I think if I leave the game, I don't get rid of my Vive pistol. So uh, let me go find a nade. Let's do this. Put that right there. Let's drive this up to the Claymore. Stand on top of it and then shoot it. And then we just lay here. Can I melee the car till it explodes? Yep. Didn't kill me though. We gotta get creative if we wanna if we wanna die here. Anyone wanna shoot me? Anybody? Over here. Hey! Come get me. There you go. Take me out. You know what? I'm gonna go pee. You guys kill me. Oh, thank you, gentlemen. And that's another 12. And we just rinse and repeat. But now I'm gonna change this to be a throwing knife. And we'll just see if we can get away with that. Okay, we did not get very lucky with this spawn, but we did get a vehicle. Uh, and we'll just head over here and see if uh, we can kill some people. Ooh, you guys want to give me your guns? Thank you, appreciate it. Might as well just kill all these people and grab their trophies. If they got any. And this is why we keep the self-revive. And we are all done with our trophies already. We've been in this game for like two minutes. This has got to be the fastest way to get these tokens. Oh, this shit is all terrain. Holy fuck. <laughs> I'm Tony Hawk on this. All right, trophies are secure. Uh, let's just uh, go ahead and die. Perfect. And that's another easy 12. Honestly, it might take longer to like load into the game than it takes to actually like get the tokens. And I still have my revive pistol. This is broken. Also, I just want to put this out there. We ran into this issue on stream the other day when we do open lobbies for my other account. Uh, it turns out that my friends list is full on there. But if you do want to play with me, go ahead and join our, our group here. It's the J Buddies, uh, formerly known as Little Toe Demons, because it was just me and my friends before. But if you go ahead, hop in here. Uh, when we do open lobbies, you'll just have to join the group. And then you should be able to join the lobby from there. Is that an actual player? That's fucked up. Didn't get any tokens from that. Well, that's the first time we've actually ran into a player that was trying to kill us within like what? 15 games of DMC? That's not bad. Later, dude. Say travels. Could have easily killed him right there, but I didn't. That's what we call restraint. Someone drop one more trophy for me. Any of you guys want to? Hmm? There we go. I'll be on my way. There we go. One more game and we should have enough. Now, we don't need all 12 tokens, but we might as well just get the, the last one. There we go. Eat that nade for me. And let's go ahead. Throw these tokens in. And then we're done. We got everything except for the trophy master. Well, honestly, after playing DMZ for a bit, I don't think it'll be too hard. We just only have to play like uh, 90 games of DMZ to get it. But that's only at like three minutes tops each game. Maybe four or five if you're counting in loading screens. So do the math on that. And that's a thousand trophies. Oh, we got player. Hey, whoa, chill. I'm just trying to get my trophies player. and get out. Then y'all can kill me. I don't care. Oh, all right. Very reasonable bunch. There we go. Trophies are uploaded. I'm gonna let these guys take me out. All right, where are you guys at? You guys want a free kill? Huh? Y'all want a free kill? Okay? I got all my trophies. Y'all want my shit? No, we don't want it, bro. You can get, we just join up though. Nah, I'm good. There you go. Uh -oh. Enjoy, fellas. Oh, oh shit. Thank you. I feel like he did that set us up and now it's like... It's all of the squad somewhere just watching. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all can kill me. <laughs> no, we don't want to kill you, bro. Uh, I've just good. been hopping we in GMZ once. games because the trophies are super fast to get, and then you can just leave. Oh, uh, okay. Easy but if you want to die. Yeah, take me out. Thank you, gentlemen. What a nice little group of people. So you can run into either people that are just going to be dicks and kill you on site, or they'll just 
like you finished doing whatever grind you're doing and now we're at 198 this should be enough for us to get all of our stuff so let's grab the battle rifle first clean we'll get the tear skip the loading screen oh please say i have enough and i didn't miscalculate oh i miscalculated hard i need 60 more how do i do math this awful all the time oh hold on give me a few minutes and i'll get the rest of these Oh, I'm too dirty. Even against these bots, they don't stand a chance. So satisfying. And that should be good. It only took like 20 something minutes for us to get back up to 60. That's not the worst. Now let's see, do we finally have enough to get everything? Yes, sir. And we'll grab our Woody for our last unlock. And now that we have everything, let's go ahead and take a look at our Night Sting blueprint for our Attack V. So here's the attachments that it comes with, just in case you're curious. And here's what the Attack V looks like in game. It's not a bad blueprint by any means. It's just a little disappointing since we got the same exact skin for the M13 with in the last week or two with this event coming out. I mean, it's cool that it's on different weapons, but you might as well just give us like a, a weapon vault of it so we can throw it on whatever weapon we want instead of just only the M13 and the Attack V. Because clearly they can just toss this onto whatever weapon. It's the same exact camo. So there you have it. We went through and grinded out some more trophies for the rest of the rewards. Uh, there's only one left, which is the trophy master calling card reward. And I will be grinding that out, especially now that we have the DMZ method where we just hop in, you know, grab the tokens and get out. Uh, that's just extremely faster than playing multiplayer. But I'm still a bit disappointed with this event. It's very lackluster in terms of the rewards you get and it's not very fulfilling just hopping in grabbing some tokens and getting out but let me know what you think of the event overall uh what do you think of the new rewards coming out and have you grinded for the trophy master calling card and uh that's where i'm gonna end it so thank you guys for watching truly appreciate all your love and support and i'll see you in the next one later